Hi everybody, how are you? I am here today <clears throat> with little Kai, my sweet precious little angel, and uh, we're going to change him out of his Christmas outfit and uh, put him in something for theme Thursday. And y'all are going to have to forgive him this morning. He's a little upset. He's missing his brother Joseph. They haven't been able to talk in a while. You know, Suzanne's uh been having struggles with her eye and headaches and her knee and uh i've been busy and we just haven't gotten the boys to connect in a while so he's a little upset uh but we're going to get him changed anyway because we i need to get all of the christmas outfits put away and i'm trying to get them off the babies i was going to change each baby on camera for y'all but um, I've kind of pushed ahead and, and I did eight babies yesterday. So come on, Kai. Come on. It's all right, honey. It's all right. You'll get to talk to Joseph soon. I promise. I promise. So yeah. Um, oops. Don't have any focus here. There we go. Okay. So, um, yeah, so I charged ahead and, and got some babies changed yesterday, and I was changing them. Oh, first of all, I wanted to show y'all Kai's little Christmas outfit. He it is so darn cute. I hate to take it off of him, but he has this little sweater vest on, um, and it's got a uh, that picture of Santa Claus on it and some snowflakes. It's navy blue trimmed in red. And then uh, he has on this white shirt that has this um, sort of tartan uh, plaid cuffs and collar and a placard right there. And then he's wearing uh, navy blue um, trousers and he has on his blue leather T-strap shoes. And it's funny how things look different on the camera because I have no lights on right now. This is just light coming in from the window, which is sort of cloudy today. But these pants are, are navy blue, but they come out almost like a purple. But they're not. They're blue. They're blue. So here's my little sad sack, and we're going to get him undressed and get him ready for uh, theme Thursday, which isn't, he hasn't got a... Uh, fancy to-do outfit. We're doing simple. He's got a pair of blue jeans that he's going to be wearing. Have the little pockets, you know, because all infants have to have pockets. <laughs> and uh, then this little burgundy. It looks red on here, but it's really a maroon, dark maroon. Um, little shirt that has little snaps on the shoulder. And a breast pocket that has a little brown teddy bear right there. And uh, I'm going to put on a little, just some little blue socks and then his little brown um, fur lined boots to go to match the teddy bear on the pocket. Little brown teddy bear. So, anyway, I hope and trust. Oh, Yes, I wanted to tell you all, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all of the wonderful comments you've been leaving on my videos. I'm just blown away at the kindness of everyone. It's just so, so sweet. But I do want to thank you. And I know sometimes that I am a little behind in answering your comments, but I do get to them. I do. I try to get to them as soon as I can. Usually when I make a video, like today, it is, what time is it? See, it's quarter to three right now, and I'm just now getting a video done. So by the time I do a video, come here, sweet darling, and um, edit it and then upload it, um, I'm already having to do dinner or, you know how it is, getting ready for the evening. And then my husband gets home, and we eat dinner, and then, of course, we clean up, and then I uh, spend time with him. And uh, before you know it, the evening's gone. Oh, and I do my Spanish 
I've, I don't know if y'all, I've probably mentioned this before, but I'm teaching myself Spanish and I do it every single night. And uh, I think I'm on like 830 days in a row that I have done Spanish. I haven't missed it. Even when I was sick, I would do it. I'm, I'm just that committed to it. Yeah, and after all that time, you'd think I'd be fluent in it by now, don't you? Mm -hmm. Well, perhaps if I had somebody to talk to in Spanish would help, but I don't. I'm learning it on my own, and uh, so that's slow going. But anyway, at any rate, I'm getting there. And uh, uh, what I wanted to... So anyway, that's why sometimes it's hard for me to get to comments right away. But please be patient with me. I do, I do get to them eventually. And uh, I do appreciate them so much. Um, so back to getting these youngins changed out of their Christmas outfits. Guys, it is so horrible that I am such a, I don't know, I guess a pack rat or collector of things that, and I, I collect and I collect and I collect. And before you know it, I am just totally out of room, which this has happened here, not only with clothes and toys and babies as well so um i used to have two um two things that i you know did um every year i would switch over all the clothes from summer and fall to uh spring and summer not summer and fall fall and winter to spring and summer and then back again you know so in the spring, I switched to spring and summer, and in the fall, I switched to fall and winter. Um, and it used to be fine doing that, but um, now um, I've had to go... Oh, leave that sprite on his face. Hang on a second. Okay, is that any better? I closed the blinds a little bit, because that sun... I am literally just standing here in the dark. <laughs> I am in the dark, and it still looks kind of light on his face. That's funny. Anyway, um, so now I'm having to, uh, because I've got so much stuff, because I have so many babies, and I can't stop buying things, which I don't really need to, but I do. You know how that goes. Thing is, I don't get rid of anything. That's the problem. But you know, when you have babies like this, they don't wear things out, and they can wear them a bunch of times, and Oh, gosh, you just hate to get rid of things you spent money on. So, at least that's my thought. So, anyway, now I've gone to having uh, another uh, box that I put holiday clothes in. So, now I've got, like, Halloween and uh, Christmas in one box. Um, Easter clothes, you know, you can wear those at other times, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, as you can... A lot of uh, 4th of July clothes. But, um, yeah, so now I've got another thing yet to do, and that's to put away the holiday clothes. And that's what I've been doing um, now is trying to get the babies out of their Christmas stuff so I can get it all packed away. And, yeah, so... That's what I've been trying to do. Uh, that's why I you know, was forging ahead yesterday and getting babies changed. I still have quite a few to go. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. I think six more to go. Yeah, so that's not too bad. Um, but... Yeah, so I'm trying to get all of that out of the way and try to get a little bit more organized. I am organized. It's just that I have no more room to organize. Does that make sense? I'm getting his shoes on right now in case y'all want them. There we go. And, uh, yeah, so that's what I've been trying to get done. It's a mess. I just, 
there's only so much room you can put stuff until you just can't put stuff anymore and I'm, I know I'm eventually gonna have to start weeding things out yeah so anyway that's kind of what I've been doing changing sheets and washing clothes and I had to go town yesterday and get my hair cut so I was out and about for several hours yesterday not that it takes several hours to cut my hair but when it's a 30 minute drive away you tend to just hang around <laughs> and do other things there we go there we go my precious little boy and you do look like the perfect little boy now then it's hair combed let's just spray those little curls a little bit we got a little flattened out it's just water i'm using on his hair i love this little quiff at the top <laughs> sometimes we do it down but we've had it up like that for quite a while and we just like it, don't we? Yeah, this is a Saskia sculpt, and he was reborn by um, Alexandra Taylor Hughes. This was the second baby I ever got. The first was Layla, who was a full-body silicone. And then um, Kai was my first vinyl reborn. So my first baby was a silicone. My second one is a reborn. And isn't he just the most darling little thing you've ever seen? I just think he's precious. And I fell in love with this skull after seeing Joseph uh, on Suzanne's channel. And um, I wrote to her and asked her if she minded if I got one similar to hers. And he's uh, a little different in that uh, he has two little teeth. On this bottom, I don't know if you can see. So there he is, all dressed up in his maroon shirt with his little brown bear on the pocket, his denim jeans, and his little brown boots. And there we go. And he wants to say a special hi to his brother Joseph. And don't be sad, Kai. We'll talk soon, I promise. So yeah, so kisses. Mwah. To, to Joseph, my twin brother, and kisses mwah, to Auntie Suzanne. Um, I, uh, on my vacation to Arkansas, um, I um, went to, you know, uh, these places called, uh, this little place called Tiny Town. And uh, I have a friend on um, YouTube, his name is Mark Filcher. Uh, he lives in Scotland and he is a collector of trains and he does model trains. And so while I was in Arkansas, I went to this place called Tiny Town and it is a, uh, oh gosh, it's just a huge room that is, um, of, uh, uh, model trains going through. It's like all different parts of the world. Um, and this guy who built this thing it took him 34 years and every single thing in that um pan, uh, diorama was handmade by him and he has things like famous people and they walk along you know boardwalk in the park which i forgot to video but they he has an amusement park and he has um like uh the teton mountains and uh Gosh, I can't even think right now what all he has, but it's just um, waterfalls and, and bears, and it's just really cute. And uh, so I did a video of that for Mark so he could see it, and I, I told him I was going to put it on one day. And also we went to these woodland gardens, and they also had um, trains out there. They're a little bigger, but they were still in um, uh, model train setting. And so I did a little video of that. So I'm going to tack that on in the end. This is for you, Mark, and anyone else who wants to see. Um, and his channel name is Mark Filcher. If you like uh, trains and, you know, it's so cute. I, I'm not that interested in trains, but I marvel at them. And I go and watch his channel from time to time to see his his um, videos. And, and he'll come by and stop by and watch some of mine, which... I think is really nice, really sweet. So anyway, um, if you get a chance, go by and see Mark Filcher. And uh, here, 
take care and watch some of the trains. All right. I love you guys. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll talk real soon. Bye-bye. This too. Push button for bears and bridge. Oh, there's the bears. And what the bridge does. There's a little tiny little thing. Oh, look at that island house. Yes, a man climbed up that tree to get away from that bear. Right <laughs> Left his wife down there in the picnic table. He climbed up the tree. Oh look, this is Mount Rushmore. <laughs> Pennsylvania Dutch Farm. What is this? Old time weather station. We got a dance going on in here. A dance? Yes. Boy, they dance fast.
Yeah. <laughs>